What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today we're covering day 17 of Advent of the Cyber Challenge and we're talking about AWS. So here's our story. In a move to town to the best Facebook company, the Grinch Enterprise sends out an email to the entire company with everyone's name, date of birth. Max Kitty looks quite stressed with the breach and thinks about the potential legal consequences. She talks to Mac Infra to try to determine the origin of the breach. So we're going to try to figure out what happened, where did the breach come from. A good example here is uh, talking about how the cloud hosts things. We have two images. Here's an image with AWS and here's an image that's hosted by TriHackMe. So if you right click and copy email image address, we can come to a browser and you'll notice that the, in the URL here, it says S3 which is an S3 bucket from AWS, then the Amazon domain, then the company name here. This is exposing the name of the S3 bucket that is uh, being hosted here. So that's a good thing to know compared to when TriHackMe is hosting the image, it's just, you know, HTTPS TriHackMe.com, then the name of the image. This is the standard. This is how AWS does things and by doing this they're leaking the s3 bucket name so that's what these images are going to do highly encourage you to read through this and follow through the other links as well so that you really have a good understanding of aws and how aws works but here are the com techniques that we'll be using here our challenge says that somehow the grinch has managed to get a hold of the elves names and email addresses how could this have happened Given the scope of the breach, Max Kiri believes someone in HR must be involved. You know that HR recently launched a new portal using WordPress. You also know HR didn't request any infrastructure from IT for deploying the portal. Where is the portal hosted? So they're blaming HR for doing shadow IT. HR went to AWS. They were told, hey, you can just create a website by clicking here and here and here. And they did it. Then, of course, the Grinch took over that platform, it looks like. So here's an image. HR sent out to announce the site. So if we copy image address here from what we learned uh, reading the text here, we know that this is an S3 bucket. This is the name of the bucket. What is the name of the S3 bucket that is used? Okay. What is the message left in the flag or text ob object from the bucket? We need to query for the objects from the bucket. Then we need to now to list the contents of the bucket. So we can use the S3. I'm going to use no sign request here, this format. But of course, we need to replace this right here with our bucket name. Let's paste it here. All right, so as you can see, we listed the contents of this bucket here. Uh, use the no sign request because we don't own the bucket. And right there is we, when we listed the contents, we see flag.txt. Now we just need to download flag.txt. And going up here, it says we can download by using curl or the AWS command line. But I'm going to go with the AWS command line because that's actually nicer. Instead of ls, we're going to change this to a copy. We leave the company buckets, then, but it's slash flag the text and we want where do we want to copy it we want to copy it here so we put a dot at the end let's see if that works it needs to start with s3 all right so i forgot to say s3 all right let's try it now all right so we did download flag the text after putting aws s3 you need, you need to remember to put the full path to the flag here after we have listed it. So now we've cat, cat flag dot text. All right. So we submitted the flag. What, do, what other files in the bucket looks interesting to you? So going back here, we have WP backup dot zip. Ah, that looks interesting. It's a backup file. And people you make backups because they want to be safe. And if they save, made a backup of their credentials, we'll be using them. So that is an interesting one. What is the AWS access key ID in that file? 
All right, so let's download the, the backup file. So we reuse the same when we use backup uh, flag your text, but this time we want that backup file. All right. So now that we downloaded the file, let's see. So we we'll unzip the file, unzip the contents. All right. CD WP backup. All right. So WP backup is in here. So this is a WordPress site, a classic WordPress site. Uh, we can always look in the WP config for credentials. Was this one contains access to the database information and any configuration information. So here, as you can see, we now have define S3 upload secret, S3 uploads key, bucket, and the region is using is east. Okay, so what do they want? Access key ID in that file, key ID. I think that's this one. All right, what is AWS access account? All right, so to find an account ID, we have a few instructions here. We can run the ADS, AWS STS command. Then uh, since we have the access key, we can just run this command and paste the access key and we should get an account ID. So let's start by doing AWS configure profile hacker and paste that aws secret access key aws secret key access and it's this one default region name we are actually given here us is default output format let's leave it to none all right so after that we can now use the ads aws sts get access info to see what the id is okay unable to look at all right, so I, when you use this here, make sure that you specify the profile. I created a profile called hacker, so I needed to add dash dash profile hacker at the end here. So now it will give me the information that I need, and this is the account ID. So let's copy that. That was a nice learning curve for me as well, so this is really fun stuff. What's the username for this access key? According to this here, all we need to do is run this. We are in business. So this is the username. What is, what is the database password stored in secret in secret manager? All right, so looking at the AWS documentation for secret manager, which is what we might be using here, here's available options. Create secret, list secrets. Okay, for now, let's list secrets. So here's list secret. Okay. Oh, I need a profile of hacker. So we listed some secrets here. All right, that was fun. AWS Secret Manager list secrets profile hacker. Then let's do this. Okay, let's answer the question. What is the database password stored in Secret Manager? HR dash password, that's the name of the secret. Now we need to get that secret. Now get secret value. I think that's what we need. And then here it is the information. Okay. Secret ID is what we need. So let's use this one. Put secret ID of, I guess that's the name. Dash dash profile. Can I do that? Yeah. So always specify your profile here, all right? What is the database password stored in Secret Manager? Looking at this here, the secret you're looking for is not in this region. Sander wants you to have lo look closer to where he lives. Oh, so we need the region where Santa lives. Well played, well played, try me, well, well played. Let's find out. Okay. I'm seeing here, I don't even need to write this. EU North 1. It's from North Pole. I don't know. I'm going to use this one. We can take that. Wild guess because I saw EU North. Uh, AWS Secret Manager gets secret value. Oh, no. All right. So I get an error that says uh, it doesn't like this AWS previous. So let's remove that. Forget that stuff. Just give me information. All right. So now it works. 
It's a very secure password, by the way. <laughs> Winter 2021. All right, so this question popped up while I was doing this. Uh, there's an instance in this account. Under what tag, what is the name of this instance? And let's try this one. Under the tags, what is the name of the instance? There's an HR portal. All right, so the answer was HR portal because this is the tag here in the tags. All right, that was it. Uh, we learned a lot about AWS. This was really fun. So thank you very much for being here. If you like this, please like and subscribe and let everyone know. Otherwise, I will see you next time.